Hi, right, this is Dan from bhix411.com. Today I'll show you how to program a new or a used hybrid ECU to a 2009 Toyota Camry. The ECU is located on the firewall over here. We replaced it with a new one. Here's an old one. And of course, once you replace it and want to start the car, I push on the brake pedal. The car does not start, does not show ready on it. What you'll do, it's a simple procedure, but it will take 30 minutes. You leave the ignition on. You will leave the ignition on. Go under the steering wheel. And what I have here, I'll show you, is a little jumper. I did mine with a uh, fuse in case you connect it in the wrong place and it will uh, short out, so I'll just burn this fuse. Otherwise, you'll need a jumper. You can use a paper clip if you don't really care if you burn something in the car or a fuse in the car. More likely, that's going to be the fuse. And here, I'll show you the instructions on how to do that. As you can see, this is the OBD data link connector. Uh, we're going to jump the 13 and 5. So 13 and 5 is number 4 from left to right and same here. But your connector can be this way or the other way around. So you always want to make sure pyramid type deal to the top and then count that way. So I'll just show you on the car. So as you can see we have ours right here and RC is located same as on the picture that we had so what, what I'll do with ignition on I'll count one two three four I'll put it in there make sure you're not touching any other connectors uh, pins and same with over here and now that we have a good connection, you double check, make sure we are in the same pins as noted in a picture. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, pyramid type deal going up. So we will plug that in. And of course we'll have to set it on a timer for about 30 minutes. I set mine on 29 because we probably already had a minute since I was talking. So 30 minutes. After 30 minutes I will come back and show you that the car will start. So that's how you program a mobilizer to the new hybrid ECU. I'll be back in a minute. Alright I got 35 seconds and I did forget to tell you when you do connect those uh, pins together all the lights on the dash will be blinking so make sure that's the way it's supposed to be and it will be blinking for 30 minutes so I got 15 seconds and in a couple seconds I'll just shut off the ignition remove my pin and then start the car All right, my timer's done. I will shut off the ignition, remove my pin, and of course, as you can see, it's ready. The car's working, the RPMs, and all the lights are off. So that's how you program the hybrid ECU.